Hello, my name is Peter Brennan. I'm a maxillofacial head and neck consultant uh, in Portsmouth uh, with a personal chair uh, in recognition of education and research achievements. Workfield's a million miles away at the moment. Uh, we're in the French Alps a week before the Asset Conference on a family skiing holiday. First time away in two years and uh, wonderful feeling. So the importance of work-life balance. Um, I'm absolutely flattered and deeply humbled to have been nominated and shortlisted for the Silver Scalpel Award. It's such a privilege being a trainer. You are the future of surgery and we should be doing everything we can to nurture and support you. And uh, for me, the greatest thing is to, is to see you develop, to see you flourish, to see you blossom. Um, and then subsequently uh, establish your own consultant practice um, and make a success of it. And to be a small part of that journey as a trainer is indescribable. I think my advice for trainers is uh, to listen to your trainees, uh, give them the time that they need, un understand their training requirements um, and um, you know, facilitate, be a facilitator effectively and help them uh, get from where they are to where they need to be during their placement with you. Lowering that authority gradient again is something really important and yes everyone knows that uh, you're the consultant, you're the senior surgeon, but lowering gradients, empowering uh, trainees um, to be an equal and valued part of the team uh, makes a huge, huge difference uh, for morale but also performance uh, of the trainee. They um, they feel uh, a welcome and warm environment uh, and, their, and their surgical skills and performance uh, is enhanced. As a trainee, um, your, your time is really short. Uh, I can remember my, uh, my time went almost, almost in the blink of an eye and so seizing every opportunity you can as a training um, experience. And when you find a good trainer, uh, latch onto them um, exploit them, um, use every bit of their experience and, and their enthusiasm to help, to help your own personal development. There will be obstacles uh, along the way, yes, um, and even, even now I find that uh, doors uh, slam in my face, and, um, but, but as long as you have that vision, uh, you, know, you know where you're going to be going, um, pick yourself up, go and knock on another door, another door will open. So you know enthusiasm is really important, a sense of humour, um, uh, team working uh, and so on and, um, uh, and the importance of those uh, around you um, whom you love and uh, um, you know support from family and friends, uh, I, can't, I can't stress that enough. Um, I've had some bad experiences myself as a trainee. I was bullied as an orth orthopaedic uh, SHO. I was told I'd never succeed in anything, that I should be doing dermatology. And those experiences really, really scar, don't they? You know, they stay, they stay with you. So uh, a bad experience, you can remember that for, for a long, long time. But equally, a good experience from a really good trainer can make a huge, huge difference to, um, to your career and something you you always remember. So thank you very much. I'm really looking forward to coming. Um, just another day of skiing here. Hopefully no injuries tomorrow. That would be uh, embarrassing, wouldn't it? And um, I very much look forward to meeting you uh, at the conference. Thank you so much again.